Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing a messy house deep clean with me. Also sharing one of my favorite dinner recipes with shrimp and zucchini and lemon. It's so good. Getting a lot of those nasty cleaning tasks off the to-do list for the week. Getting things organized. The transformation is pretty significant. My house was quite a mess. You and me stuck on the ocean now Nothing but waves in this villain in I want to dry up a two So like I mentioned in today's video We're getting a lot of those nasty awful things off of the to-do list starting with my microwave You guys I absolutely hate cleaning my microwave. I put it off Mine was so disgusting so disgusting. I mean probably had been three months since I had cleaned it last. It was just, oh, it was disgusting. But my cleaning hack for the microwave is I will take a microwave safe bowl. I will add a couple tablespoons of lemon juice, a quarter cup of white vinegar. You can do up to half a cup of white vinegar. And then I just fill the rest of the uh, microwave safe bowl up with warm water and I will microwave it for five minutes. So here I'm just kind of getting things situated. Filling my essential oil diffuser with peppermint and lavender essential oils. Absolutely love to diffuse this during the summertime, but I'm just kind of waiting for that microwave to get done. I'm separating out the dishes in my sink, giving the kids a snack, but I will show you here in a second what the transformation of the microwave is. Honestly, less than 10 minutes, you guys, it took me to get this microwave sparkly, shiny, clean. Nevertheless. We were true to each other, but now we don't even bother. I remember you being hopeful, but the tall waves have worn us down. And slowly we are drowning. That's why you need to come with me, with me, with me. Turn around 180 degrees and cross the sea. I will not let us fade away. It's not a price I wanna pay, and it's not too late. No, we lost our purpose, chasing all that surplus. You were all that I need. I feel the weekend break. So, prepping dinner here, I'm getting the shrimp all the way thawed and I just put that into a measuring cup and add some cool water. Got all of my ingredients out that I need which is parmesan, lemon, and rice pilaf with orzo, pasta, and zucchini. All right now back to that microwave. I take the tray out, I stick it in the sink and I let it soak. I take a scrubber sponge and I will dip it into the solution. Be careful because it is warm when it like really really hot when you get it out of the microwave but all of that sludge and nasty grime and grease comes right off it slides right off with the sponge after microwaving that solution in the microwave for five minutes seriously like i said less than 10 minutes it took me i don't know why i've been putting this off for so long i know this is disgusting kaya knows how to use the microwave now so she'll just like microwave soup or like whatever she's feeling that day popcorn a lot of the times and she'll spill that popcorn grease um but with the soup it like splatters all over the inside of the microwave so this is so embarrassing for me to show you guys, but this is real life. This is real mom life. I put this off for so long, but again, this took me less than 10 minutes because of my little hack. So I hope you guys are able to use that little hack and have success with it like I did. After I'm done scrubbing, I will take paper towels just to shine it up nice and good. And then if the inside is still a little bit grimy, I will wipe it down just one more time with that solution and it smells good. You would think with the vinegar that it would be a little strong, but the lemon juice really helps to balance that out and it smells nice and fresh and clean. I felt so good after getting this off of my to-do list and I hope I inspire you guys to get some of that icky, grimy stuff out of your kitchen as well. Trust me, you'll feel so much better when it's done. So hopping back to tonight's dinner recipe, it is so easy. It's quick, it's easy, and it's so good. It's healthy for you. 
I'm on Weight Watchers, like you guys know, and I believe that this was, I want to say this was less than 10 points if I remember correctly, but I just cut up my zucchini so that it's bite size. I put two tablespoons of avocado oil approximately into a pan, and then I will just take the tails off of the shrimp and place it into the pan. Um, this took me a little bit, and sometimes I'll wait until it's done cooking uh, to take the tails off, but in this video, I did take the tails off first, and after I'm done doing that, I will then season them. One of my favorite seasoning mixes on shrimp is just to do a little bit of Montreal chicken, garlic powder, and onion powder. Trust me, it goes a long way. It's really good. If you guys don't want to use avocado oil, you could also do regular cooking oil or like olive oil, butter, there's so many different oils that you could use. I just prefer avocado oil. But here you see me seasoning the shrimp with those three seasonings like I mentioned. It's so good, you guys have to give it a try. This shrimp turns out so yummy every single time. Sometimes I'll add a tablespoon of butter into it towards the end just to give it some extra flavor. So I'm just letting the shrimp cook a little bit and then I'm going to add the zucchini and then I am going to put a cover on it, let it be for a few minutes and then I'm going to come back and I'm going to add that rice. I use the Uncle Ben's rice pilaf with orzo pasta. Like I said, it's one of my favorites. So when I let this cook for a while, I just wanna warn you guys, you need to watch the zucchini. I overcooked my zucchini this time around and it got mushy. You want it to be just barely crunchy, right? Soft, but not mushy. Otherwise, it when it mushes in with the rice, it's not super great. But anyways, while I was letting that cook, I got the rest of my kitchen cleaning done. I got the dishes done and then made sure that the kitchen was nice and clean to represent a good dinner for the fam. Anyway, one of my favorite recipes, you definitely need to try it. Wait until you see the end result. It is drool worthy. So back to our little dinner creation. As you can see, yes, that zucchini got a little mushy. I was kind of sad, but everybody still devoured it. It was so good. Added that rice pilaf in there, and then the next step you need to do is add shredded parmesan to the top. You can do grated parmesan as well. And then I will zest a whole lemon over the top. So I just take like a grater and then I will zest the lemon peel over the top. And then I will slice the lemon up and I'll take just one wedge from the lemon and squeeze the juice over the entire pan. It is so good. This dish with lemon is delicious. Like I said, my entire family ate this up. It's so yummy. And we were inspired by a HelloFresh meal back in the day. Gosh, it was a long time ago. But anyways, just wait until you see it all plated up in my bowl. It was so warm and yummy and just was like a really good comfort meal. Isn't that, oh gosh, it was so good. Anyway, I highly recommend you guys try it. And if you do, let me know what you think.
So in this part of the video, I'm showing you guys a little idea for a tablescape. I love hosting family dinners. It's one of my favorite things to do along with putting together a cute tablescape. So I'm just laying out these jute placemats and I just have these bone white plain plates. I love plain white plates, but this is just something super simple. And of course now I'm taking it out. I just wanted to give you guys a quick idea for a tablescape, something simple, but really makes a statement and people will come into your home and think it's just so cute and so cozy, so well put together. Again, hosting family dinners is like one of my absolute favorite thing or like family dinners. We have friends over all the time as well. So anyways, hope you guys are inspired to do a little tablescape yourself. I got this new table runner and I was just feeling a little, a little festive when I was putting it together. So I'm super excited also to share with you my fall ideas. I have been scheming you guys. I've been putting together my fall decor. I'm excited to share with you the haul and the cleaning and the decorating. And then I will also be doing my very first home tour on my channel. So many of you guys have been asking for a home tour and I plan to do that this fall for you guys after I have it all decorated and ready to go. And I'm dying to die. 
All right, you guys, that is going to wrap it up for today's video. I hope I gave you all of the extreme cleaning motivation, this messy house deep clean with me, or semi deep clean with me, I should say. I just got a few of those nasty things off of my to-do list and I feel so much better. If you guys are new here, I would love if you considered subscribing to my channel before you leave. I do all of the cleaning motivation, decorating, all the mom life things, very real raw mom life here on my channel. I love to share it all with you guys. So I will see you tomorrow for another really fun video, which should be a day in the life. Okay, bye you guys.